Welcome to the AIM Learn Fast e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is an overview of AIM Sports GPS Manager version 2.0 software. Just a couple benefits of using a GPS sensor with your AIM Sports data system is the ability to use the GPS information to generate highly accurate track maps and lap times. To make the use of this sensor even easier, AIM Sports has created the GPS Manager software. The GPS Manager software has hundreds of worldwide tracks already included in its database, and we are adding more all of the time. This module is a quick tour of some of the features of the AIM Sports GPS Manager 2.0 software. To begin, let's first open the software. This is what the software looks like when you first open it. If you want to learn how to create or edit tracks, Take a look at our Creating a New Track in AIM Sports GPS Manager 2.0 video. If you are interested in learning how to transmit or receive tracks with your AIM Sports data system, take a look at the GPS Manager 2.0 Transmitting Receiving Tracks video. Let's start by looking at the pull down menus across the top of the screen. First, let's select the File menu item. The only command under the File pull down menu is the Exit command. You can exit the software here or with the red X in the upper right hand corner. To open the next menu, select the Options menu item. Under the Options menu, first is the Language command. You have many language choices that the GPS Manager 2.0 software can be presented in. Here is the dialog box that opens, but we will leave it in English. The next two commands look very similar but are actually very different. The Import Tracks from AIM database choice simply reads the database already on your computer and reinstalls any tracks you have erased and also gives you the opportunity to reload any tracks you may have edited. By selecting the import tracks from AIM website choice, the software connects to the AIM server and downloads the latest track database. This list can be different from the previous one because the AIM track database is constantly updated. For this choice, a connection to the internet is needed. The last of the pull-down menu items is a question mark, and the only command is the About GPS Manager item. This is just a panel that tells you specific information about the GPS Manager version and AIM Sports. To close the information panel, click on the OK button. OK, let's start looking at the main window of the GPS Manager 2.0 software by looking at some quick ways to change the way we look at available tracks. Here we are showing different tracks from many nations. As you can see there are 13 tracks from Australia and we can easily collapse this list by selecting the Australia Minimize List arrow. And we can do the same thing to the Austrian tracks. Then to view all of the nation's tracks just select the Maximize List arrow again and again for the Australian tracks. Beyond the pull-down menus and the list arrows, the software has a series of buttons to handle the task you will be doing the most often. Again, the software database has hundreds of tracks from all over the world, so one of the most useful features is the ability to filter the tracks that you want to display and eventually select. To start the process of filtering your tracks, click on the Filter button. This will open the filter window. As you can see here, the panel has four areas that we can use to filter the tracks that will be displayed. Nations, vehicle types, road surface, and circuit types, and in this example all are being shown. You may or may not have all of these choices depending on what you have stored in your database. A shortcut to show all or none of the values is provided at the top of each filter as highlighted here. Let's uncheck all of the nations in the list by unselecting the nations checkbox. Then, by using the elevator bar, scroll down to the bottom of the alphabetical sorted list and select just the United States. And there it is, select the United States checkbox. We can also further filter the tracks we want to show. In the vehicle types area, we want to see only the tracks marked as automotive tracks. So we need to unselect the moto checkbox and then unselect the cart checkbox. So right now we are only going to see the tracks in the United States where they race automobiles. 
but furthermore on all road surface types and different types of circuits. To filter out even more, let's choose only the road surface of asphalt by unselecting the other choices. Start by unselecting the water checkbox. Then the mixed checkbox. The ice checkbox. And finally the dirt checkbox. Now we will only show the tracks with a road surface of asphalt that automobiles race on in the United States. But there is one more filter available and it is the circuit types. We want to leave only the closed circuit type checked. A shortcut would be to uncheck the main circuit types checkbox to unselect all of the options. Then select the closed checkbox. When you get the filter window configured just the way you want, click on the OK button to filter what you will see. At any time if you know the name of the track you are looking for, you can click into the filter text box and type in the first few letters. The software will filter out and only show you the tracks that start with the letters you type in. For example, let's type in the first few letters of the Sebring track. And as you can see, it reports back only the tracks that fit the filters that you have built into the filter window and the tracks that start with the letters SEB, in this case Sebring. Sometimes you need to edit a track that exists in the database. To edit a track, you can select it or click directly on the edit icon. Here we want to select the Sebring Motorsports checkbox, then select the Sebring Motorsports edit icon. This opens the track information and properties window. For more information on how to create and edit tracks, see our creating a new track in GPS Manager 2.0 video. So for this video, we will just click on the cancel button. To show all of the tracks, remove the SEB letters from the filter text box. There. Now just the tracks we filtered out with the main filter window settings are still visible. Across the top of the software right here, we have six more functions to help you. The first one is the Select All button. This selects all of the tracks that are active. To clear all the tracks from being chosen, click on the Deselect All button. The next function is the Erase Selected function. First we need to select one or multiple tracks. Select the Autobahn checkbox. Then to erase the track, click on the Erase Selected button. And this confirmation box opens. If you are sure you want to erase the track, click on the Yes button. Next we have the ability to export and import tracks to share with others or on other computers. To start the export process, first we need to select some tracks. Select the Barber checkbox. And then the Better Cowtown checkbox. And finally the Button Willow checkbox. Then click on the Export Selected button. This will open the Save As window. This allows you to name the file what you want and store it in the location of your choice. In this case we are going to leave the name as the default value and store it on the desktop. To finish the process, click on the Save button. Then to clear the selected tracks, click on the Deselect All button. To import tracks that have been exported and saved, is as easy as clicking on the import button. And this open window opens. Now we can browse to the location of the file we want to import, but in this case we are already looking at the desktop where the file is stored. To import the tracks, click on the aim underbar gps underbar tracks dot zwd file. Then click on the open button. And the files have been added to your database. The last function button across the top is the New button. This allows you to add a new track to the database. Let's click on the New button. And this Track Information and Properties window opens. This is where you will be creating new tracks. For information on how to create and edit tracks, please see our Creating New Tracks in the GPS Manager 2.0 software video. 
For now, we will click on the Cancel button to close this window. This completes the GPS Manager 2.0 Overview video. If you are interested in learning how to transmit or receive tracks with your AIMSports data system, take a look at the GPS Manager 2.0 Transmitting Receiving Tracks video. For more AIMSports Learn Fast eTraining content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support. Your source for support and training of AIMSports products when and where you want it.